for the Gartner BI Bake Off, Gartner provided public data sets related to the opiate epidemic to analyze key trends and questions that surround this issue. Now, data catalogs offer a way to inventory and classify disparate data assets that are scattered throughout your organization. Let's just explore how Relations Data Catalog will help you tackle some of the challenges related to analyzing this data set. Now, let's say I'm a data analyst, a data scientist, or BI user, and I'm interested to answer a particular question. For example, what are the highest states with opiate overdose deaths, and how has it changed over the past two years? Now, similar to how Google will crawl and index everything on the web, Alation will crawl and catalog all your data assets and then create a rich catalog page for each data asset. And this is applicable to data regardless of where you are in the data pipeline. So it could be in a traditional relational data set, such as MySQL, where I can view the schemas, the tables, and the columns. It could be a SQL on Hadoop system, such as Presto. It could be a BI visualization, such as Tableau, or MicroStrategy, or Einstein Analytics. Or it could be in a file system, something like HDFS, or an object store like AWS S3 that emulates a file system. All right, so let me go to the heterogeneous search bar in relation, and let me type in opiate overdoses in natural language English. And now I see a bunch of search results that show up for me that are relevant. I see articles, I see a physical uh, data table, I see queries, I see conversations. Now let me go ahead and click on the first search result, which is an Alation article. And articles in Alation are essentially like wiki on steroids. I have information here that shows me the context of the opiate epidemic that can really help accelerate my path to insight. I also see that some of the information is actually linked here uh, to the actual data assets. So here I see a sample of uh, a table. Uh, I also see uh, queries, as well as BI reports. Now, the nice thing about Lation articles is that it's essentially a living document. So as information uh, gets updated or changed, then this uh, these linked data assets will also get updated within the Lation article. Now, after looking at this particular article, I see that maybe this drug overdose death table is what I want to what I want to use. So let me go ahead and open that up. Here I'm at the catalog page for this table and I can use the rich information in the catalog page to better understand the narrative and context around the data. I see that there is some social curation that has already happened on this table with two endorsements and one warning. Uh, the warning tells me that this table is missing data regarding certain states, so that is really helpful to know. I can also surface a history of conversations around this table, so I don't have to go and scour uh, emails or a mailing list in order to understand the context of what has transpired with this table. Alation will automatically identify also who the top users are, and we do this by doing a deep parse of the query logs. So if you have a question uh, that goes Beyond the information that's contained in this catalog page, Alation will automatically identify the SMEs and then you can reach out to them directly. I can also see who the data stewards are, um, as well as what tags have been applied on this table. If I go to the column tab, I see the most relevant fields, uh, the most relevant columns ranked by popularity. I can also go and take a look at all the queries that have been run against this particular table. And similarly, I can view the joins and the filters as well. Now, some power users, uh, such as a data scientist or advanced data analyst, now they may be more comfortable with SQL. And we also provide that capability for our power users with our tool Compose. Now, the really nice thing about Compose is that it feeds metadata to you as you work. And we do this through our machine learning and AI algorithms. So I'll go ahead and specify a few fields and I get smart suggestions on what the recommended field should be based on usage patterns from other people. Now, I can also uh, issue a join and I see the recommended tables that are typically joined with the one I'm using right now. I'll go ahead and select census info and 
I will go ahead and use the recommended filter field that Lation provides. Now I can also specify predefined filters. Uh, I'll go ahead and select this filter that says all opiate groups, which actually includes not just opiates related to Oxycontin, but also methadone, uh, fentanyl, and heroin as well. Since this information is based on a 12 month ending period, I'll specify that 12 month ending period as June 2017. And then I'll group by state. And I'll go ahead and I'll run that query. And now I see the results pop up for me. Now, I've been able to use Alation query the database and find the information that I'm looking for on the number of opiate overdoses by state. But I'm also interested in the percent change over the past couple of years of overdoses grouped by state. And how can I go and find that information? Well, I could go ahead and I could write more SQL in order to calculate that. But instead of spending the extra time, uh, can I leverage the tribal knowledge in my organization in order to help me find that? Now, what I can do is I can go back to Alation's heterogeneous search. I can search across all catalog data assets within Alation, and hopefully I can find a query that might help me along my path to insight. So in natural language, English, I will type in percent change opioids. And actually I see a query that pops up. I see that this query has been endorsed by two people within the organization, so that makes me feel good. I also see a description that describes that this query uh, measures the percent change of overdose deaths over the last couple of years. So this looks to be exactly what I want to use. And what I can do is I can go to compose. I can go ahead, I can run this query. And after the results pop up, what I could do is I can actually uh, export this to the catalog. Or let's say I want to build a visualization and make this, uh, make this result more consumable by the organization. Now what I could do is I can actually export this to Tableau. So I'll go ahead, I'll copy the access code. I'll go to Tableau. And I'll paste my access token here. So this will set up the Tableau Web Data Connector or connection. And this will start importing information from my query result in Alation into Tableau where I can then go ahead and build my visualization. So now I can go ahead to my worksheet. I can build my visualization. I will specify the state as the color. I'll use percent change in order to indicate size. And I could go ahead, build my visualization out, and save it. So I've done two things here. One, I've been able to find and understand the narrative of my data in Lation. And two, I've been able to quickly export that data into Tableau, create a visualization, and then make my results more consumable for the broader organization. And once I finish my dashboard, I could go ahead and publish this to Tableau Server. Now, here I am in Tableau Server. And in the medical Alation certified folder, I see that my saved visualizations uh, that really highlight key trends around the opiate epidemic, uh, namely around Medicaid prescribers and opiate overdoses. Now, for this particular example in Tableau Server, I have 16 workbooks tied to 12 projects. Now, in a more real world scenario though, I may have hundreds of workbooks tied to tens of projects. And the natural problem that would occur is how do I know which workbooks are valid and which are not? So let me show you how Alation can help solve this through stewardship and collaboration. Now, let's say I'm someone who works closely with the data, such as a data engineer. I find that there's been an ETL issue that's affecting certain raw tables. Uh, one of the tables that I identified as being affected is a table called drug utilization. And this is a raw table in my MySQL database. So I can go ahead, uh, search for it in Alation. And I can use the rich catalog page to ensure that actually this is indeed the table that has the ETL issue. Uh, once I determine that this table has been, has been affected by the ETL issue, I can go to the stoplights here on the upper left. I can click on the deprecate uh, stoplight. And I will say ETL issue data in this table, data in this table stale by three months. So I'll go ahead, I'll deprecate it, and I'll see the deprecation here. The benefit of this is that someone who's looking for this particular dashboard can immediately in real time get notified of this ETL issue. Now I'll go to the catalog and I'll search 
for the dashboard. I'll find the dashboard and go ahead and click on it. And what will come up to me is a catalog page for this dashboard, which is automatically extracted from Tableau Server. And I get information such as usage, as well as a thumbnail sketch, which can validate whether this is indeed the dashboard I was looking at in Tableau Server. I also see a warning that's propagated to me. As the data engineer had deprecated the drug utilization table, I see that uh, notification and I get warned about that. I can also go ahead and take a look at the lineage. Um, and I see from the lineage that the deprecation or the ETL issue with the drug utilization table actually propagates downstream and affects one of the worksheets in my dashboard. Now, once I've validated that there's actually indeed a DQ issue, I can go and actually warn the rest of the organization about this. So I can say warning a DQ issue with one of the worksheets in this dashboard. The worksheet that has an issue is, is this one. And I can actually go ahead and link to it in the warning. So go ahead, I'll issue the warning. And now the active actually issue that warning in Alation because of the deep integration that we have with Tableau Server, I can go back to Tableau Server and originally that workbook was in this medical Alation certified folder. Now, because of the fact that I've deprecated that workbook in, or given a warning in that workbook in Alation, what will happen is that Alation will automatically move that workbook from this medical Alation certified project folder into this medical project folder. And here I actually see that opiate overdose key trends dashboard. So the benefit is that this is really uh, provides an easy way to have oversight into your Tableau assets so that you can distribute those assets in a more governed manner. Now, using Gartner's data sets on opiate overdoses, I've shown you how Alation can help discover, understand, and trust the data within your environment. And the data catalog should be a comprehensive single source of reference for all individuals involved in the data management and BI stack in an organization. And it's really essential for anyone working with self-service analytics.